Hi guys. So look at this problem here. So it's a good problem. It involves some concepts actually. So solving, uh, learning those concepts is important. Uh, yeah, rather than just solving this problem actually. Okay. So let's see this here. This question says that Sita and Gita cycle towards each other, one from point A and other from point B. Uh, respectively, Sita left point A six hours later than Gita left point B. And it turned out on their meeting that Sita had traveled 12 kilometers less than Gita. Correct. So let me just make a straight line, right? So obviously never solve a THD question without diagram. So diagram is the utmost important thing. Okay. So if I make this diagram here, it says that Sita and Gita cycle towards each other. So let's say Sita is at uh, this point. Okay. Uh, and Gita is at this point. This is point A and this is point B. Sita left point A six hours later than Gita left point B. Correct. That means uh, when I when I make this diagram here, so actually let's say for example they meet at this point here. Okay. So if they meet at this point here, it actually says that Sita left point A six hours later than Gita left point B, and it turned out on their meeting that Sita had travelled twelve kilometer less than Gita. So let's learn the concept for this actually actually. The concept here is uh, this one, okay, for this question, for example, <clears throat> if I uh, look at this for any, uh, take a, a different uh, example right now, let's say A and B are two people, to the meeting at this end, let's say A has travelled this distance for in uh, 5 hours, okay, and B has travelled after, uh, for 7 hours, and after, after 7 hours they are at this meeting point M1, okay. Now, when B has traveled for 7 hours, so let's say B continues its path and B reaches the point A in another, let's say for example, uh, in another, I should take 10 hours, okay. So now, can I answer this, that in how much time this other person will reach here, okay. So the funda actually here is, so what I observe is from this distance from this M1 to A. This distance is covered by A in 5 hours and the same distance is covered, this is B right, this is B actually, okay. This is B, this is the path of B, okay. This is the path of B and this is A and this is the path of A here, okay. So can I say that ki the same distance M1A is travelled by the, uh, the, for, uh, the person, this A, it has travelled this in 5 hours, okay. And the same travel, the same distance from here to here is traveled by B in 10 hours. That means the speed of B is double the speed, sorry, uh, time taken by B is double the time of A. That, that means the speed of A will be double, right? So if time, if B is taking double time of A, that means the speed of A should be double the speed of B because distance is same obviously, I know. So I can say that if speed, uh, so A will take half the time of B. So here, if the time taken is 7 hours, that means this distance will be travelled by A in how much time? This distance will be travelled by A, A in 3.5 hours. Okay. So now, uh, the, this is a concept, right? This is not, this is a uh, one point concept, right? But it's not the main part of this question. In this question, I need to observe this, which is basically what happens. If you observe this, guys. So time taken by A here, this is the time taken by B here is 10 hours. Okay. So this time, into this time okay so time which has b has taken time which which b has taken after meeting and which a has taken after meeting is the product of these two is equal to product of these two that's the concept here that is 10 into 3.5 is equal to 5 into 7 right 10 into 3.5 equal to 5 into 7 that means 10 what is 10 here time 10 hours is time taken by b after meeting Okay, after meeting, similarly what is 3.5 here, 3.5 is the time taken by A after again, after meeting, time taken by A after meeting. Okay, similarly, what, what is 5 here, 5 is time taken by A before meeting. Okay, and what is 7 here, 7 is time taken by B again before meeting. Correct. So this is a concept actually guys, that <coughs> the uh, product after meeting, TB into TA is equal to TA into TB. That is the concept, right? So now, once you once you solve this question here, so we'll see that 
Now here this girl, uh, let's say for example, it's written that Sita left point A six hours uh, later than Gita left point B. Okay, so Gita has left point B six hours later. That means this distance, if it is covered by Sita, in t hours. Correct, right? So if this distance Sita is covered uh, by Sita in t hours, okay. Or rather, I should say, let's say for example, it's better to take this as t minus six, guys. Okay, for better understanding, so I'll say that okay, Gita can cover this distance. Gita can cover uh, this distance. Let me make my black. Okay, so Gita has covered this distance. I will say in t uh, t hours. Correct. Similarly, so this distance is traveled by Sita in t minus six hours. Obviously, because it's written that Sita had traveled twelve kilometer less than Gita. So sorry, Sita had traveled. Uh, Sita left point A six hours later than Gita left point B. Correct. So she would have traveled six hours less, है ना? She had she has that uh, left six hours later. So she would have, she would have traveled six hours less than a Gita. Okay. Now after meeting, they kept cycling and Sita arrived at B eight hours later. That means eight hours later. That means from here to here. If I continue the path of Sita, she further takes eight hours. Okay. And from here to here, if I continue uh, continue the path for Gita. She further take nine hours to reach here. Correct. So now what I just learned that the time the time taken before meeting is equal to the time taken uh, product is time taken before meeting is equal to product after meeting. That means I can say here that uh, let's say t minus six into t. So I can just do uh, write like this: t minus six into t is equal to eight into nine. Okay. Therefore, t square minus six t. Is seventy two. Therefore, t is square minus six t minus seventy two is equal to zero. And if I solve this equation, I'll be getting t is equal to twelve and minus six. So minus six is six is not possible. Therefore, t is equal to twelve hours. Okay, that's the concept for this question, right? This is the concept for uh, generalized question for all the question, and we can ap apply this concept here also. Okay. That's a generalized concept, guys. Every question we can apply wherever we have such scenario that two people are meeting and crossing each other. Okay. So in the TSD main videos, we have seen uh, another cases of uh, exactly when people are starting simultaneously. That SA by SB was root TA to B, right? Root TA T B and T was T one root T two. We saw all this in TSD main videos, right? Times traditional main videos. <clears throat> But uh, in in this one. uh these are they uh, but uh, these people are not starting simultaneously okay now further on if i for the solve so there is one more point written in written here that she had traveled 12 km km less than gita so for this i need speed reference so if i so i can just replace the values here guys so t equal to 12 so 12 minus 6 is 6 hours and here t equal to 12 hours right so one more statement is given here That uh, when Sita has traveled, uh, when they met, they met first. Sita had traveled twelve kilometer less than Gita. So I can write here that okay. Uh, this is t. Uh, if there is what is the speed ratio? So I can find that this distance, this distance is traveled by Sita in six hours. Sorry, in six hours, and Gita has traveled this distance in nine hours. That means Sita is a faster one. So the speed ratio of Sita upon Gita. That ratio will be equal to nine by six. That is three by two, है ना? That is inverse, right? The distance is constant. The speed ratio is inverse of time ratio. So time ratio is the six uh, by nine. So speed is nine by six. That is three by two. So that means the speed of Sita I can take it to be three k, and the speed of Gita I can take it to be two k. So in six hours, when they first met at this point M one, in six hours Sita has traveled three k into six, eighteen k. And in the same time, uh, in in sorry, in twelve hours, Gita has Gita speed ratio is two k, so she has traveled two k into twelve. So Gita has traveled two uh, k into twelve, and Sita has traveled three k into six. That is eighteen k. Okay. So the difference here is actually because Sita has traveled more, so three k into six. The difference is actually equal to six uh, k. That six k is equal to twelve kilometer. Therefore, k is equal to two. 
so i got the value of k as 2 therefore a speed of sita i'll get here a speed of sita is equal to 6 km per hour and speed of geeta is equal to 4 km per hour if i put the value of k to here that's the answer okay that's a good question right that's a good question guys so you all of you got this okay and remember the remember this concept also okay fine then uh <coughs> we have uh, one more thing here okay so this is a uh, combat coming on um, this 14th march so this combats are basically designed by me i designed this uh, this uh, combats and uh, uh, quant and especially quant and lrda part so this quant this you can give a uh, you can use the invite code here ravi roda it is absolutely free for everyone okay and do give this combat on to, uh, 14th uh, march at 12 pm uh, really some good uh, quality questions are there and you can have this question bank so there are new questions here which you will not find in the google or any anywhere posted right so these are some new questions so every combat it's every week at 12 pm and uh, you get some good 10 high quality questions of quant some 10 good quality questions of lrdi if you give live at that time we'll uh, build that competition and also uh, note that questions and add in your question bank okay so do this given 14th march here okay thank you